Hello everybody, it's Agnes here. Um, I just like to share with you um, a quick video on how to do the reverse canvas. Um, the, uh, this is a little project I started yesterday um, as I was waiting for the um, ball to drop. It is a little heart in which I wrote all my goals. And one of those goals, of course, were more videos and more um, lives to share with you. So um, here I am doing the reverse canvas with you. As you can see, I'm cutting, um, cutting my canvas with the X-Acto knife. Um, I usually remove the staples, but I did not have all the tools and I was so anxious to um, make that video. It is maybe not perfect, not that's how I always do, but um, let's try it and see if it's going to work. As you can see, I am trying so badly to cut through that little canvas. It is tough. <clears throat> oh, I'm repeating it again. There we go. It's now slowly coming out. Um, just the little corners. Just got to be careful because um, it seems like that Dollar Tree canvases are also glued to the frame. And um, I just did not want to rip that at all. Here we go. It's coming up. I, um, as you can see, that little frame is not really attractive, but it has a nice touch to it. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is try to paint, I mean stain, but you can paint any color you like. I love to stain. Um, at the beginning I did not, um, I didn't think that I need to remove all those staples, but I guess, you know, not the staples, that the uh, the remaining of the canvas on the back, but obviously it, it was bothering me. So here it is, removing it away, getting all those little bits out. So here we go. I'm usually when I stain, I use the rag, but again, I was rushing and I did not have anything handy. So I am going just to simply use the paintbrush um, and try to wipe it off with, um, with the paper towels. Well, my paint, my stain seems to have a little coating on it, but it doesn't matter. So what I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to be here um, even, this is not painting, this is just simply um, smearing a little bit of the stain on the frame. And now here we go. Let's wipe it off and um, by doing so you are actually distributing more stains throughout the frame. I do not, I did not want my stain to be um, completely filling the frame. As you can see, that is beautifully filling. But you can always add the touch-ups and, um, and you know, fill it the way you like it. See, like I have a little corner here. It's getting messy. I should have wear gloves. But this is what happens here. <clears throat> I am usually trying to get, um, things done now because if I postpone them I will be waiting. So here we go. No, it is a mess. Should have remembered to bring the gloves. So here we go. Um, it actually beautifully fills out and a little bit of a grain, a wood grain on those inexpensive um, wood pieces are beautifully showing on it. So here we go. I think I'm happy. No, I'm not. <laughs> it is so funny to actually do the recording as I am watching myself. Um, so here we go. I just, all what I did was just, I had to go wash my hands. 
because they were messy. So usually I do use the staple gun um, to install uh, the, uh, um, the canvas back. But you can see I'm installing it on the non-painted side. So, um, well, here we go. Got some hot glue over, but I am actually this time using the hot glue. And it will be fine just because there's no weight on the canvas except the uh, little heart. So hot glue will be fine. I mean, I'll see how it goes. I may later simply fill it up with um, fill it up with the staples. As you can see, um, I wasn't thinking before I started the project. Because usually when I staple, I fold the edges and then I have um, a double um, layers of the fabric to make sure that everything is um, attached stronger. So this time I do have a lot of leftovers of canvas that I can't fold and I did not. So then this is what happens. I am cutting it as much as I can to keep, keep the um, clean edge. I think it's okay for now. We'll see how it goes. This is it's always first time. Um, and I actually do like it. So now I'm thinking to um, add a very simple ball. Again, something with raffia. I love raffia. And um, it is sort of like a refab bowl. Um, but it's, um, I call it crisscross because it's a little bit different. I don't use um, so many layers. But here we go. <laughs> it didn't work. Of course because you guys are looking on my hands, that's why. And I'm just trying to do, um, here we go, let's hope the second time is a charm. Here we go, it did, it did work. So that's it, a little hot glue and the bowl is done. There we go. Well, I should have done a better job uh, planning and um, spacing my heart on the canvas, but you know what? It's fine. I'm happy with it. Here it is. I really like the way it turns out. What do you think? Hope I did a pretty good job making that video. It was my first one. I'm on my way.